Okay, so first of all, I'll type equals transpose, then select the second list and enter. Then I'll type equals and select the first list, then type the AND symbol, then select the second transposed list and enter. And this gets me all of the possible combinations of these two lists. And the rest of this is just laying it out the way that I want it. So I will put the two col formula around all of this in order to get all of it into one column. Then I need to put something in between all of these words in order to be able to separate them. So I will put in an at symbol inside quotation marks. Then I need another and symbol in order to join this all together. And that puts the at symbol in between all of these words. I can then use text before and select all of this text here. And then the delimiter is the at symbol inside quotation marks and close brackets and enter. And this gets me all of the text before the at symbol. Then I can do almost the exact same thing with text after. Select all of this text here. And then the delimiter is the at symbol inside quotation marks and close brackets and enter. And this gets me all of the text after the at symbol. Now let's combine all of this together into one formula. So I'll copy the text before part. And then we'll need to use H stack to horizontally stack these two columns together. And I'll paste in the text before formula twice and then change the second one to be text after. Make sure to close off the brackets at the end and then press enter. And this gets us the two columns combined together. The next part is this part here, so I will copy that. And this needs to go into the formula twice. So I'll turn this into a let formula and use alt enter to put this part on a new line. Then the name will be text and I'll paste in the formula that I just copied. And now this cell reference here can be replaced by text and this one here can also be replaced by text and then close off the brackets at the end to close off the let formula and enter. Then the next part is the transpose part, so I will copy that and then paste it in to replace this cell reference here and press enter just to make sure this is all still working. Then we can turn this into a lambda formula. So I'll press Alt Enter to put this onto a new line and we'll have two parameters, array 1 and array 2. Then this cell reference here can be replaced by array 1 and this can be replaced by array 2. And close the brackets at the end to close off the lambda formula. Then to get this to work, I need another set of open and closed brackets. And in here, I need to select array 1 and then array 2 and enter. And I'm still getting the same results. So now I can copy all of this except for the part at the end and go to formulas and define name. And I will call this all combinations. And in the refers to box, select everything and then control V to paste in the lambda formula that I just copied and OK. And now we can test this. So I'll type equals all combinations and it comes up here and then select array one and then array two and enter. And we get these same results as we did before. And if I want the combinations to be the other way around, then I just need to select the arrays the other way around. 
Then I'll test this on different lists. So I'll do equals all combinations again. And then this is array one and this is array two and enter. Just to make sure it is all still working. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a formula to get all of the possible combinations from two lists in Excel. And that is everything.